And former President Donald Trump is returning to the campaign trail in the battleground state of Michigan for the first time since his attempted assassination a week ago. It's also the first time that he's going to be joined by his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, just days after the former president formally accepted the Republican nomination for the third time in a row. Local officials say attendees can expect to see ramped up security inside the Grand Rapids Arena where the event will be held. Let's go ahead and bring in ABC's Jay O'Brien. He's live there in Grand Rapids now. Good morning, my friend. Thank you for being here. What can we expect to hear from the former president and J.D. Vance later today? Good morning to you, my friend. First off, just want to point out to you, we've got supporters lining up here. You can see all of their hats, the red hats over this fence here. They're also wearing, many of them, shirts that have that picture, that iconic image now of former President Trump after he was hit with that assassin's bullet in the ear being lifted up by the Secret Service. You know the image. You can see the American flag above him. That has already been made into T-shirts here. A lot of the shirts have fight, fight, fight on them. As for what we can expect to hear, this is kind of going to be the first test of former President Trump as to how he accomplishes this message that he said he wanted to set out at the RNC in those remarks he gave just days ago that he wants to express this message of unity. That's what Trump said he wanted to do. But remember, as you know, Gio, in those remarks he gave at the RNC, he mentions unity, and then his speech quickly veered off into older Trump campaign themes like lashing out at his political enemies, like airing grievances. Now that he is back on the trail for the first time since that rally on Saturday, what message does he deliver? That's the question we're waiting to see the answer to. And clearly all of those people behind you have that question as well because they are lining up for this uh, right now. I don't even need to ask you why Michigan, because the truth is this is a major battleground state. How high are the stakes there? Without question, incredibly high. This is a must-win state for both campaigns here. Really, those Rust Belt states, as you can hear the crowd cheer behind me, are must-win states for both Trump and Biden. And it's one of the reasons why Donald Trump is thought to have picked J.D. Vance, because J.D. Vance's pitch to those voters at the RNC is that his background is like their background. He grew up in rural Ohio, a self-described hillbilly. He has that very notable, popularly recognized life story that he wrote in that best-selling book, Hillbilly Elegy. So he's already said to those voters, I am you because I am where you came from. I will carry those values to the White House. And you can expect him to make that similar pitch to those Rust Belt state voters here in Michigan again today, Gio. Jay O'Brien, always on top of it all. Thank you so much.